Campbell's Golden Syrup sponsors Andy's Sweet Bakes. Orange and poppy seed cake is a mixture of sweet sponge and tangy citrus orange. It's really easy to make and will look like you spent ages slaving away at the stove. First, take two oranges and let them gently simmer until tender. Now, it's really important just to gently keep them ticking over because if it's too harsh and boils, then the oranges tend to split. After 30 minutes, refresh the oranges in cold water just to stop the cooking process. Allow to rest for five minutes. Once the oranges are chilled, slice in half and remove any seeds or pips. And then simply add the oranges to a food processor and blitz to a pulp. And that's the consistency of the orange you want to get to. Now for the cake mix. Into a mixer, put your eggs and your sugar and then mix the sugar and eggs until light, pale and creamy. And after a good four to five minutes, the mix has gone a lovely pale colour. It's fluffy and light. Now ready for the next stage, which is to add the almonds. Add about a third to start, just to help getting the mix going, and just add the rest. Gently folding through, making sure you don't beat all the air out. Then add a teaspoon of baking powder and some poppy seeds, which is going to add a lovely texture to the dish. And then last of all, just add the orange. And then fold in the orange. And if this cake tastes as good as it smells, then I know I'm onto a winner. All that's left to do is place it into a cake tin filled with greaseproof paper and just smooth off the top. Just place it into a hot oven at 160 degrees for about 50 minutes. Whilst the cake's cooling, now I'm going to start on the lovely syrup glaze. I'll be using satsumas for flavour and decoration, and just thinly slice. Then add to a saucepan, add the juice of one orange, and then last of all for the glaze, some Lowell's golden syrup, which will make it nice and sweet and keep the cake very moist for extra freshness. And then turn on the heat and cook for about 10 minutes. Now with the glaze gently bubbling away, the satsumas are cooked down and it's reduced a little bit. So take off the heat, pour into a bowl and let cool down a bit. Next, I'm going to dress the cake. Let's put some holes into the cake. And here is a glaze that's come down to room temperature and with a spoon, start to layer on the top. And you can really see it just start to sink straight away into the cake. And then simply start to dress the satsumas over the cake. Now that's what I call an orange and poppy seed cake. Lyle's Golden Syrup sponsors Andy's Sweet Bakes.